Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. And today, guys, I want to show you this beautiful Panerai. That's right, it's a luminal Panerai. And this could be the perfect starter Pam. Let's take a look. The first thing you notice with this Pam is that beautiful iridescent blue dial. It absolutely pops. I like the way you've got the 3, 6, and 12 in, um, in Arabics, and you've got the traditional second hand at the uh, 9 position. So this piece is absolutely stunning. It comes on a beautiful Italian leather strap, blue Italian leather strap, absolutely gorgeous. This Pam itself is one of the new models and I got to tell you it's easy to see why Pam is a brand that I continue to come back to this is the Pam 1085 44 mil and this is basically their entry model of their range now it uses the in-house movement that's right pam has gone in-house and this piece here uses the caliber p6000 uh, it's a single barrel architecture but it delivers three days or 72 hours of power reserve and i mean that's pretty damn good pretty damn good indeed there um, I've got to tell you, Pam itself there has been a brand that has had a few ups and downs and they, part of the Richmond Group, they're kicking hard to try and get that position, position back. They're trying to climb back and with models like this, it's, it's, it could be possible. This is Pam at its best. It's got the beautiful, the double arrow OP logo at the six. This is a, um, you know, a hallmark of traditional PAMs. It's, it's, I got to tell you, this blue is absolutely killer. The, I've got to be totally honest with you. I think if you wanted to buy a PAM, you could go much worse than this model here. It's a basic manual wine PAM, which is their bread and butter. It's a three day power reserve. It's in a very gorgeous blue. Blue is kind of the new black. It's got the double arrow Pam logo. It's, it's got a lot going for it. And the thing about Pam is they've gone back to their spring bars where you can unscrew them. <clears throat> and this is the big thing I think a lot of Paneristis love to do is they love to play with the straps and change out rubber change out leather straps, change out, they want to have a play with it. And I've got to tell you, Rolex themselves, they've gone no holds case. It's getting very difficult to change out straps on a Rolex. They've positioned the lugs and the spring bars holes in a very peculiar way to make it hard for you to customize. Whereas Pam still allows you very easily to change straps, put rubber on, give it a good twirl. I've got to be honest with you, this blue is killer. It's just just such a refreshing color to have. A lot of men, they love blue. Blue, as boys, we always had blue. We loved blue. I remember I, as a kid, I used to love blue. I'd only wear blue shirts as, as, a, as, as a kid, as a child. And it's easy to get come back to this sort of piece here. It's just got a beautiful blue, very nice summer watch to have, and it's it's not a it's not a terrible price point. This this is um, we live in an age now where Rolex is getting very hard to get. Tudor Tudor's a bit blasé, but Pam is like an old faithful friend. For reasonable money, we can get one of these and. It's just a cool diver. The Pam history itself there goes back a long way. Um, and I don't think a bit of Italian style could do anyone any wrong. So I've got to be honest with you. If you are looking for a nice diver and you're sick of all the Rolex games, this could be 
the piece to go for. Okay, a couple specs on this PC. So this is the PAM1085, 44 mil case. The height is 13.05 mils. The case itself is made of 316L stainless steel, which is polished and brushed. It has a sapphire uh, crystal, uh, screw case back, safety lock crown, 100 meter water resistance. Is that enough? Is 100 meters enough? I don't know if you'd really take this swimming with the leather strap on. 100 meters is kind of semi, semi passable. The blue dial with the uh, sun, they call it the sun ray brushed pattern. Uh, painted Arabic numerals and indices in green super luminova. OP logo at 6, uses the Caliber P6000 in-house, hand wound. It's got 110 uh, parts, 19 jewels, 21.6, uh, that's the vibrations per hour, 72 hour power reserve, hour, minute and small seconds. It's on a beautiful blue calf skin with beige stitching. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. And it's about five and a half thousand euro. Five and a half thousand euro. Not a bad combination to have there. You may be able to haggle a bit, get a bit of a discount on it. And uh, you've got a gorgeous dive watch. The only question is, is 100 meters enough for a dive watch. I would have preferred it if it was a 200 meter. But hey, it's 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 still very respectable. It's a nice diver and probably wouldn't take it in the pool with that beautiful blue leather strap. So, uh, I'm a little bit out on that one there. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Tell me what you think of this Pam, the Pam 1085. Uh, do you love the blue? What do you think? Tell me, give me your comments below. I'm Archie Luxury, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Hi, guys. Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury. Who do I recommend for watches in Brisbane and Sydney? Vintage Watch Co. That's correct. Vintage Watch Co. in Brisbane Arcade in Brisbane and the Strand Arcade in Sydney. Vintage Watch Co, Brisbane and Sydney. Ronnie, I've known him since the late 90s. Ronnie is a top bloke. Luke is a great guy. Vintage Watch Co, that is who I recommend in Australia. Check out Vintage Watch Co and the guys' amazing range of watches. They also do service and repairs. Vintage Watch Co, that is where the pontiff goes. You know, some of my paddocks came from Vintage Watch Co. That's right, guys. Vintage Watch Co.